Already renewed calls to put an end to carriage horse rides in the city. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. The horse that collapsed on a city street two weeks ago is now at a retirement stable in upstate New York. But this incident has raised more concerns around the treatment of carriage horses. CBS 2 Steve Overmeyer was at a rally today on the steps of City Hall. A moratorium on the horse carriage industry right now until this can be sorted out. Legislative measures have been on the books for decades. Until then, Councilman Holden wants Mayor Adams to shut it down. Shut it down. The industry is not policing themselves, obviously, from what we've seen. Have you spoken with the mayor's office? Yes, I've spoken to the mayor's office. Uh, I think the mayor is sympathetic. I think he's starting to come around. I think he knows, but the pressure has to be constant. For decades, the horse drivers union has been facing pressure to change, especially after a horse named Ryder made headlines on August 10th after collapsing on a city street. There's no indication that this is anything other than an isolated event. Ryder was diagnosed with a neurological disorder called EPM, consistent with older horses. And while his owner claimed that he was only 13, the vet actually determined he was 28. Horses must be retired at the age of 26. Do we know where Ryder is right now? Oh, yeah. He's on a, one of the carriage horse vacation farms. Um, he's being seen by a vet. He's taking his EPM medication. Uh, you know, he's getting the, met the veterinary treatment he needs. Councilman Holden is hoping to pass Bill 573 that would replace horse-drawn carriages with electric carriages. 573 is getting more sponsors every day. And again, it's because of Ryder. I saw that it would be an uphill fight. We knew it. But I think because of Ryder, it woke people up. And I think this will, this will happen this time. For now, it's a battle between those who love and are employed by the horse carriage business and those who want the carriages out of business. In Midtown, Steve Overmeyer, CBS 2 News.